What is up guys and welcome to episode number 5 of the Hardcore Iron Man series where I've invested a lot of money into training magic. However, whilst doing so, we are on the hunt for the Rune Scimitar so we can finally train our combat stats up so we can actually defeat quest bosses and go towards Barrow's Gloves because my stats are way too low. If you watched last episode, I just couldn't defeat the Shadow of the Storm quest boss. Like, it was just impossible. So, I have to do this. So hopefully once we get that rune scimitar, which is a 1 in 128 chance, we can buy some armor, we're gonna go kill hill giants for the insoled hill giant heads, we need to collect 74 of these which should be enough to get ourselves 43 prayers, so that is the plan right now. So right now I'm just using up all of my 1000 death runes that I've collected by growing up these kittens. So the XP right now and the kills are a lot, lot faster compared to using fire strikes. So that's really nice to use these. Right, so I've used about 3,500 casts altogether. Still no rune scimitar, however, we've got another fully grown cat. So let's go get 200 death runes and uh, do another trip. Oh, -ho! that is fucking beautiful. Oh my days. Let's fucking go, man. That looks so beautiful on the floor. That looks so beautiful. That looks so beautiful. Oh, ha, 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 baby. And before it disappears, let's pick it up. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I am so happy right now. You do not even understand. That took a very long time. Look, we went from level 40 to almost 53 magic. So I've worked out how many I had to kill to get that rune scimitar by my prayer XP because I buried every single bone. I've killed 160 and like I said the drop rate's 128. So yeah, thank fuck for that. Also I got a fire battle staff, I got a diamond and also 168 rune arrows which is kind of useless. So the hill giant grind begins here. We have got 70 insold heads to collect and obviously I've still got about 3,000 casts to use so I'm just gonna mage them and then we'll get round to melee in them. But yeah, I need 54 magic anyway because once I get 54 magic I can boost to 57 with a wizard mind bomb and then we can enchant our diamond amulet and get the power I need. So that's what we're going towards and also obviously we unlock Alk. So yeah, let's um, mage a lot of hill giants. Let's go. This reminds me of just back in the day. Like, this is all we used to do back in free to play. Mage or ranged hill giants because it was the best money. And I'm pretty sure it still is. Oh, yeah, shit. Also, we have the chance of getting a giant key so we can go kill Obor, which has some insane drops. It's going to be very hard to kill, but hopefully by the end of when we have the protection prez, we'll be able to kill it. And we can get stuff like room plate skirts, room full helms, all sorts. So let's see how many keys we can get from this. No giant heads so far. And I need 70 of them. So that's not looking too good. However, we're getting limpet roots, which are obviously going to be used for strength potions when we get round to melee in them. So that's pretty good, I guess. And also taramin. So that's a strength pot right there. Saying that, next kill. 69 to go. Yo, there's our first giant key. Damn. <laughs> that's sick as fuck, man. But these insult heads, I am not getting lucky with these. I've only got fucking four for God's sake. There is 55 magic so we can now alk shit. Right, so we used up all of our casts. Getting really, really unlucky on the giant heads. However, we're getting loads and loads of limpet roots. We managed to get ourselves 50 six magic right i'm gonna do some fishing because i am running super low on food and it's getting to the stage of the game when i need better food than cakes even though salmon and trout heal less than cakes but obviously it takes you like three eats to eat a cake so yeah gonna be doing some fishing and also some cooking of course so yeah right that'll be enough fish for now we got ourselves 34 fishing and quite a lot of food to Right, gonna do the death bar too, because I can get my hand on some climber boots, which should speed things up a tiny bit. It's gonna give us some bonuses to killing shit, you know? And plus, I need to do this quest anyway, so. There we go, we have completed the death bar two quest. Let's go get our climbing boots. Okay, it's time. It is time to enchant the diamond amulet. There we go, we finally got ourselves an amulet of the power. I have got such a sick plan right now. I'm doing the Holy Grail quest, which is going to give us 1 to 31 defense and also 11,000 prayer XP, which is going to save us so much fucking time. So we don't have to kill that many hill giants. We still have to kill a lot, but not as many. And then I'm going to thieve for some cash so I can buy full room and go to hill giants and get 37 prayer. Then we can kill the Shadow of the Storm quest and that's going to give us a 10,000 combat XP lamp, which can't be spent on prayer. 
Then I'm gonna put it on ranged and then we need to get 37 ranged, which is a requirement for the Spirit of Elid quest, which is also gonna give us 8,000 prayer XP. So there are the two quests which is gonna give us insane XP, so we don't have to spend as long at Hill Giants. That's the plan right now. Assuming I can kill this, you know, today, this is nowhere near as bad as the Shadow of the Storm quest because it can't actually attack me. It's just a case of doing this. I'm gonna be a noob and quickly collect some gold ore. I'm here for the quest anyway, and yeah, I saw the gold all on the ground, so I'm like, okay, I might as well pick it up, because I've got some emeralds in the bank, so I can superheat these into gold bars, and then make them into ring of jewelings, because I didn't really get very many from the harm storeroom, so it'd be really helpful, because it's so helpful teleporting to clan wars and getting all your run energy back. Oh, that is such a beautiful quest. <laughs> <laughs> Level 1 to 31 defense, just like that. Holy shit, man. Happy days. 11,000 pro XP, that's the best part. Oh my god. Right, I need to grind for a bit. I'm gonna thieve RD Knights because obviously I'm gonna be getting some sick XP whilst getting the cash. Need to get about 120k, something like that. But yeah, let's go, I guess. Right, let's buy ourselves an Adamant Full Helm. There we go. Right, let's get ourselves some rune plate legs. Even though I can't equip them, but fuck it, man. There we go. Ballin'. Right, I'm gonna kill some chaos druids uh, for some taramin and guams. Also, finally train our combat. Get some strength levels as well. Right, so there's the first inventory. Not doing too bad. 34 strength, also 50 combat. So the plan was to buy a rune chain body for 47k because a rune plate body cost 85k. But then I completely forgot about a fighter torso. Like, how awesome would that be to get? Like, a f like one of the best plates to wear in the game, pretty much, because it gives a strength bonus. Uh, so yeah, I decided to get a fucking fighter torso, so that is such an amazing thing to get out of the way, because I go from looking like a fucking pleb to a boss. Now we just need to get rid of the adamant full helm and get better gloves. You know, there's loads of stuff we can do, but we can only do it one step at a time. Now we actually need to get 40 defense so we can actually equip the fucker. So how I'm going to do that is through quests. And the best quest to do is Dragon Slayer. Yes, we are finally doing Dragon Slayer. It's going to give us 18,000 defense and strength XP. So let's fucking do this. It's now time to face Elvarg, the Nostalgia Man. I have not done this quest for fucking years, man. This was like the master quest of free to play, you know, if you if you defeated Elvag, you know, you're a fucking boss, man. And I actually thought this was gonna be easy as fuck, but it was actually quite a challenge. Like, I killed it with five salmon left. I mean, it was probably because I was wearing iron armor, but still. There we have it, there is Dragon Slayer Quest completed. Level 41 strength and one defense level of wearing that torso. So I'm gonna go Chaos Druid for a bit, collect some herbs, get that 40 defense so we can equip that torso. And there we have it. Looking like a pleb to looking like a boss. Like I said, still a lot of things we need to do, but damn, that progress though, that's gonna that's gonna help a lot, man. Especially for quests so I don't die. And you know, we're gonna hit a little bit better with a torso strength bonus. Before I go to Hill Giants, I need to grind some fishing for a bit, running really low on food, and also I'm gonna start needing better food, like I said, you know, we're gonna be doing a lot more challenging bosses like Monkey Madness and Desert Treasure. Try on salmon isn't the best so I'm probably gonna stay here till 55 not all in one go and then I'm gonna go to lobsters swordfish and yeah monkfish and go from there I guess we'll see that'll do for now 45 fishing look how many fish we got 356 trout and 234 salmon now I'm gonna make these into gold bars never mind I'm an actual retard aren't I <laughs> fuck's sake man I had such a good plan Okay, saved. I had five gold bars in the bank. Gonna make myself two ring of recoils for a boss fight and also three ring of jewelings as well. Right then, I've got some unsold heads, enough to get us 37 prayer. I've never actually done this before. Yeah, okay, let's go. And yeah, I know I should be doing like blue dragons or something for dragon bones and then use it on the ecto, but I want to do something different to everyone else, you know what I mean? Spice it up a little bit. Oh, well, that was easy. Nice, okay, I liked it. Well, that was actually a lot easier than I thought. Torso OP, there we have it. There's our first protection prayer. Protect from magic. Can anyone guess what we're doing right now? In fact, let's make sure to swap back. Okay, 
Can anyone guess what we're doing right now? Yep, we are back here. If you watched the last video, we almost died at this boss. I could just not kill it. I was flinching it for about an hour. We are back. We've got protection from magic. We've got 40 defense, torso, rim plate, legs, better stats, everything. Let's hopefully try to kill it. And a lot of people will like thinking I'm a retard, saying that you need a silver light to get the final blow. This is a silver light, it's just dyed black for fuck's sake. But yeah, that was actually super easy, I could actually hit. And we got a 10,000 combat XP lamp, which can't be spent on prayer, so we put it on range, which got us to 28 ranged, which is perfect because that is the requirement for the bone crossbow. Yo, this place is OP, man. We've got a bank here, we've got an altar, and then when we go downstairs, the catacombs are literally just there. Look, right here, right next to the bank, and also hill giants are right at the entrance as well. So yeah, I'm gonna go collect myself some insold heads, and get ourselves 43 prayer, finally. Also, the amazing thing about this place, if you didn't already know, uh, when you bury bones in the catacombs, you get prayer XP back. So for each big bone that I bury, I get two prayer points. We got ourselves a second giant key, which is two Obor kills in the bag whenever we decide to do that. We got enough heads, finally, to get ourselves 42,000 prayer XP. And uh, we're going to finish off the remainder of the 8,000 by doing the Spirit of the Elid quest. Now then, to do that, we need ourselves 37 range. So I bought a bone crossbow, bone bolts. We're going to Chaos Druids, getting some herbs in the meantime. And then I decided to do the Horror from the Deep quest because it gives us 4,700 range XP. So I quickly got myself 35 agility. Already got the bark all done. Horror from the Deep completed, which leaves us one level off the requirement. There we go, there is 37 rain, so let's go and get 37 mining. I'm also gonna superheat them as well because I'm gonna need 40 smithing to complete recipe for disaster anyway, so yeah, let's do this. There we have it, there's 37 mining, let's do this quest. Here we go. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally done. 43 prayer. We have done it. We have done it. Also, we hit 1 million total XP. By the way, I think this... Oh, that's OP, man. But there's like no teleport to Nardar, really. But it restores your HP. Over your HP. Look at that. Your prayer and your run energy. But... There's not really any teleport to Nada, so yeah. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I'll see you very soon, and peace!